Hello. Hi. Jason and Chrissy. Mm -hmm. Say hi, Chrissy. Hi. Again. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, so um, this in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, what I refer to as emotional bookmarking. And so uh, I don't I don't know what it might be clinically. Where did you called. come up with this? I made it up. Why did you, why did you call it emotional book? Because that's what I do. I bookmark an emotion. Okay. So explain. so I'll, yeah, I'll explain it to you. So I don't necessarily understand sometimes uh, my experiences or what I'm feeling. Like uh, I always think everyone's innocent. <laughs> like um, and so like I'll have feelings and I will Would you um, say that that's like naive or something or yeah just, I, like, I yeah I guess more like positive but like a, a more positive I outlook? think I think it's both really mm, okay. um but anyways I'll still have feelings come up right and as I've experienced different things in life um I'll have this this feeling come up and I don't know what it is really and moving through it and I don't understand and then something happens and the experience unfolds and then I'm like oh this bad feeling or this unpleasant feeling was trying to tell me something but I can't, I don't know what the feeling is right and so what I do uh, I call it like emotional bookmarking so I'll bookmark that feeling and experience and say this is what this means this means I'm being taken advantage of this means that these people's intentions aren't pure this is what this means. If this happens to me again, I know it's this, right? And I'll, I'll bookmark it with something that I'll remember it with. So it might not be a feeling, but it'll be like um, a situation or something. And I'll be, I'll think of like whoever those people were. And I'll be like, let's say it's like, you know, John and Dan, right? And I'll say, okay, I remember John and Dan, that, that's what happens. So if I ever feel that way again, I'll know that's potentially what's going on. Does that make sense? And so, so then like, I'll go live my life, you know, example, like what, what's a John and Dan? Well, say I had an experience. Like some, okay. Say I had an experience with John and Dan. Okay. And it felt bad, okay. but I didn't know what it was. And okay. so like, say, say they were trying to take something from me. Like they were trying to take advantage of me okay right and and like manipulate. manipulate me in some way like you know uh try to get money for me or something you know something like a, a little like innocent okay. right and say like i yeah. didn't um that's innocent that's that well yeah <laughs> you know what i'm saying like something that you wouldn't think is inappropriate but it is okay so like they're they're trying to manipulate you in some way uh yeah. and it may seem very i don't know um normal yeah okay but it feels bad mm -hmm. and then i learned from the experience that that felt bad and i was being taken advantage of okay and then so i bookmark that experience okay in my mind right so if i ever have that feeling again i know it's associated it feels bad and i should put a boundary up or i should like or you should be cautious i should be so cautious much. okay yeah and so when the feeling does come up again <laughs> I'll be like, oh, that's what, that's the same exact feeling I had in this experience. So I'm going to, I'm going to be cautious and I'm going to put healthy boundaries up to protect myself. I see. So that's what I call emotional bookmarking. Okay. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess another way to look at this is like, if you have a stove and you don't know the stove is hot and you touch the, the stove and you, that you're like, oh, this is hot. Like this hurts if I touch it then you learn, right? You learn not to touch a hot stove. Yeah. Right. Well, it's the same thing for me, but like emotionally, it just feels bad. I, I just can't identify the feelings. Okay. So I use emotional bookmarking. And so if I unpack it and I can say, okay, I feel bad because like, I feel like I did something wrong. Right. Well, I could look up feeling like I did something wrong and that would most likely bring up guilt and then I can find well, a definition of a feeling okay I think like what you're what you're saying is helpful if you can notice you identify the feeling like with mm -hmm. John and Dan and then something unrelated happens yeah completely like, different and people it's the same, it's the same feel, feeling, same feeling yeah. and it might be a different situation or scenario right and you're like oh something's up here yeah and so like uh, it doesn't have to be the exact same um, 
things going on, it could be like a, a whole different whole di ball game, yeah. but still be like He's the still, the same still be manipulation, right? Still be this or still be yeah. that. I yeah. See. Okay. So that's what I do. Cool. And so, like, um, that's how I, you know, uh, make sure I don't. Well, that's I important protect myself. because I like, think it's important. Uh, yeah. If if you're um, in a, if if you're in a situation, knowing that you create your reality, and if mm -hmm. you're in a situation where uh, that's occurring, you can it's it's easy to identify in other areas of your life and with other people in your life, um, so that you can, you know, heal that. Within yeah, yourself. yeah, so, and then put up boundaries uh, around it. So, like for example, when I learned what guilt was, right? Like everyone knows what guilt was. I, like I looked it up and said, okay, well, this is the definition of guilt, right? So if I see that occurring where I like somebody's attempting to like make me feel bad because of my choices or whatever, I'm like, oh, that, that I think that's guilt, right? And I, I just say no to it. And I say no to that behavior. Like I choose to take responsibility for myself and move through my feelings. They can do the same thing, right? And, and that's, how I, that's how I move through that. Sure. And some people, uh, I, this is, that's funny because like I've experienced um, I guess people trying to make me feel guilty for things, but I, I, um, I was never taught what guilt was like, so it was like covertly, like under the radar, mm -hmm. trying to make me feel guilty. Um, and I couldn't identify what that was. I, I just knew like it felt bad and I should probably do it out of guilt, but I couldn't tell you that I was being guilted. Right. Right. Yeah. So crafty. So very, very, very uh, Stealth. sneaky, yeah. stealthy. Yeah. And so do you know now if somebody's attempting to guilt you? How sure. You figure sure. That out? Yeah. Yeah. So how do you know now? Um, well, they, uh, you know, someone would, as an example, like um, attempt to make you feel bad or right. attempt to uh persuade or manipulate uh through you know different different things that would you know kind of tug at your heartstrings or kind mm -hmm. of um just push buttons mm -hmm. in in a mm -hmm. way that would cause you to drop boundaries or do uh, oh, yeah. whatever you're asking but still you know not feel good about it like you do it anyway and you're like why am i doing this yeah it feels bad but i'm doing it anyway because um i was coerced oh that doesn't feel good no yeah so that's emotional bookmarking emotional bookmarking i'm sure there's a clinical term for that mess okay. that's what i call it <laughs> that's all i have for this one okay yeah. i i the way you wrap these things up is is just um uh, you should have a talk show <laughs> all right folks well that's all we have so see ya <laughs>